Hello guys, welcome once again to Think Tank TV. Now, it's obvious that the Supreme Court has given their final verdict and upheld the election of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Nigerians have been reacting to this and Mr. Kenneth Okonkwo, who is the spokesperson of the Labour Party, was accosted by pressmen at the entrance of the Supreme Court and interviewed. He has actually expressed some emotional words on how he feels about the outcome of the Supreme Court judgment. One of the major words he said is that he is glad that the Supreme Court actually agreed that the non-uploading of results on the IRF portal reduced the confidence of the people. And he said that the Supreme Court had actually said the election was not credible or perhaps not as credible as it ought to have been. He was really emotional about the judgment and expressed his reaction. Do want to sit back as you're going to also hear from the reactions of some Nigerians who have expressed bitterness and anger about the outcome Judges of the Supreme Court judgment. My name is Moses and this is case of Atiku and Obi. Shame, 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 shame on you. Uh, as a fine imposed on the second respondent for the proceeds of uh, narcotics and um, money laundry by the district court of Illinois. I sat down too, I did not hear it, and I wonder whether that was uh, swept under the carpet or was an oversight, because the lead judgment was detailed on all other issues, and they said all the issues there have been overtaken by events in all our own issues, and I did not hear the issue of the forfeiture. And so, that's why I said I disagree respectfully, even though the decision is binding. Yes, it has been laid to rest. The Supreme Court has the authority to interpret the Constitution. It is their prerogative as the arm of government imbued with the power to interpret that is the interpretation they have given to it and it is binding on us all that's what i'm going to say on it that is uh, very interesting because the only paragraph the supreme court brought to the notice of the world which was quite interesting is that even the supreme court agreed that non-uploading of the result on IRA reduced the confidence of the people in the election. I heard it clearly. Meaning that even the Supreme Court agrees that the election was not credible or as credible as it ought to have been if the result was uploaded. So credibility is one of the three arms of an election for the people free, fair, and credible. Credible means believable. Why shut out the people for the right the law has given unto them? So I was very glad that the Supreme Court pointed it out, that non-uploading of the result reduced the confidence of Nigerians in it, meaning that it cannot be presumed to be credible because Nigerians were shut out in it. So I loved that particular part. Thank you. Shame, shame, shame on Tinubu. Shame, 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 shame on the Supreme Court judges that are going to be sitting on this appeal case of Atiku and Obi. Shame, 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 shame on you. Shame on you, wicked, greedy people. Tinubu, you think money is everything? You think you will use money to bewitch Nigeria? Your witchcraft is coming to an end. Wherever you went and got all the concoctions that you think you can, you know, come and use that all over Nigerians and silence them that they can do nothing. But I'm telling you, witchcraft has an expiry date. The, your witchcraft, Tinubu, the witchcraft of all the people you have surrounded yourself with, all the Babalaos and whosoever the, the, the people that you have bought using money, your money perish with you. I say all the people that are around Tinubu to enable him people like, like wicked, wicked, and uh, uh, Bajamila and all the others. God will punish you. You have no hiding place. 
including the so-called APC uh, rogue chairman, the one that is the dollar thief. And now it's, it's a combination of thieves. People that should have been uh, arrested and been behind bars. They're the ones that are trying to govern this nation. Greedy, wicked cowards. And suddenly, the judgment that they had planned to be for the 2nd of November, they quickly rushed. And, and you, wicked Iyang Okoro, that you, are, you come from the south, south, close to the southeast, and your name is Okoro, instead of standing in defense. When have you seen somebody, an Igbo man, become president in Nigeria? Everything must be from the north. I'm from the north. But for, I'm telling you, greed and selfishness is the reason why the people have been oppressed in the south. You, you hardly see that among northerners. Northerners, no matter what issue they are having, they will still stand, stand together and defend themselves. I'm telling you, that's why you can see already, so most of the people from the far north are already standing against Tinubu because they had an agenda for the uh, Muslim Muslim ticket and they say it's not dancing according to their tune. That's why they didn't, they are not in support of Wike being the, the minister of FCT. They, they, they said he should have been a Muslim because historically he's always been Muslim. I say again, shame on Tinubu, shame on the tribunal. They want to rush because they want to use technicalities. Wicked people that have no heart and they are going tomorrow to go and pervert justice. Now, if you are bold enough, why don't you wait for the 2nd of November and do the judgment quickly? Now, they rush to go and do their kangaroo court. Evil people. When the people have been saying that the justice, the, the judiciary is the last hope of the common man. But let me say this. The judiciary are the last ones that have come to squeeze the remaining life that the common man has. Everything is about money, 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 money. Your money perish with you, Tinubu. Your money perish with you. All of you judges that receive money to pervert justice and they want to go and use technicalities. Weak people. You can't stand Nigerians. And small time, they will still want to use the army and the police. Any right-thinking police, any right-thinking army should not side with these people and work against 200 and something million people. How many are they? Why should you people allow money to sell your conscience? And then Nigerians are stuck and everybody will just go into his house and say, well, this is Nigeria, this is Nigeria. You know, Nigerians, we are the ones enabling these people. By now, there should have been uproar everywhere. By now, there should have been protests everywhere. And then you, some people are still saying, let's remain hopeful. You hope for during the election, you hope that 25th of uh, February will deliver the right candidate. Did it happen? Mahmoud Yaqub went and announced the, the, the election, the stolen election, stolen mandate. Then we, we spoke to you and we said, stand up and reclaim this mandate. Don't let them swear Tinubu. If you let Tinubu go in, he's a rogue, he's a crook. He will go in there, use money, bribe everybody and silence everybody. You have seen it for yourself. So one of the important things that every Nigerian must note is that the Supreme Court is actually the final arbiter of the judicial system. And whatever statement they have made automatically translates to become a law. I just hope that the statement of the Supreme Court would not bring about voter apathy in the forthcoming elections that will be holding in Nigeria. Please do want to hit the comment section and drop your thoughts. Let's get to know what you think about the Supreme Court judgment and we shall be continually here to serve you. My name is Moses and this is Think Tank TV.